Here's how you make checkered polymer clay earrings. To start, you'll need two colors of conditioned polymer clay, a tissue blade, preferably a firm one, your favorite clay cutters, these are ours from the Clayful Co., an acrylic roller, and then one of these two sizes of strip cutters also from us at the Clayful Co. And these will give you perfect lines, which will allow for a really crisp, even look in your checkered pattern. Now, these aren't going to be used in the typical sense of cutters. They're more going to be used as guidelines for our tissue blade. You're not going to want to cut all the way through, just enough where you have a really clear line to know where to cut. And the reason being is that when you use your tissue blade and cut all the way through, your clay will actually stick to the tissue blade itself, allowing you to transfer it with minimal touching as you transfer. And that will keep distortions at a minimum, which is really key in this pattern. Next, you'll use your roller to connect these strips. I use a piece of paper to avoid getting lint, especially using light clay. When I do this, I make sure that I'm rolling primarily in the direction of the strips in this first part to avoid distortion. You'll see these all come together as one piece. Then take this cutter, line it up so that it's perpendicular, cut off the excess, and line up the squares every other like so. There is a technique for this. Again, you want to touch it with your fingers as minimally as possible. So what I do here, I'll slow it down in a second so you can see, is you pull really firmly down, just like this. And then you will line it up from left to right and make sure that each grid is lined up with the row before it. And then you can use the tissue blade to push it back into the next row. Once you've finished aligning these rows, you'll want to use your roller to connect them all. I'm using this low grit sandpaper to create a unique texture, but you can really use whatever you'd like. You can use paper to get a more matte finish, or you can use the roller uh, for a more traditional finish, whatever you'd please. The key here is when you use your roller to make sure you're applying even pressure in both directions to ensure that you don't distort your pattern. If you roll too much in one direction, you will get distortion. Next, you'll use your favorite cutter shapes. I'm using the ones that we make from the Clayful Co. There are some from the floral pack and from the starter pack. When you're done with that, you'll remove the excess clay, bake in the oven, and here's the end result.